hi guys welcome to your daily reading this is for aries i hope you're fantastic so we had the full moon in aquarius it's probably tonight as well or it was late last night very beautiful bright and full but it was in aquarius which is the collective the community city society anything where it's a large group of people affecting a lot of people and the moon in aquarius aligned with jupiter um, retrograding um, in Aquarius with Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. It's things from the past being brought back up again to learn tests, definitely testing you um, in opposition to the sun in Leo. So very emotional. A lot of people could be very emotional, but it's in opposition to bravery. So there could be something about fear overwhelming a lot of people. Um, now as the moon moves into Pisces, Pisces is about feelings, intuition, and the mind, and fantasy, so things that aren't real, and that can be fear at times. Um, Pisces energy can be mental health issues, because if your mind has a very strong imagination, um, then you could think of a lot of things that could be going on that really aren't going on. And so I feel like we're going to see a rise in mental health issues, people lashing out or having, you know, a lot of mental health problems. Um, there could be even drugs and alcohol because people are self-medicating during this period when there's intense emotions that are affecting the subconscious mind. So watch out for mental health around you. Um, Anger, so Mars and Virgo, people could be angry, saying words, Mercury and Virgo, that are rude, hostile, aggressive. Um, but we do have Venus. We have a grand trine of air energy with Venus, North Node, and Saturn retrograde. So there could be things from your past that are coming up again or revealing themselves again, things that you went through before happening all over again. And you could be even asking yourself, like, why is this happening again? Um, Venus and Libra, partnerships, love and compassion between people, but it can also be codependency because Libra is in direct opposition to Aries, and Aries is very independent. Libra is the polar opposite. It's very codependent. It's like, well, I can't go if my best friend isn't going to go, or I can't um do something if my partner isn't going to be there with me um, it's very opposite of aries energy and this is aligned with the north node obsession with communication um problems with communication saturn retrograde lessons from the past karma what goes around comes around okay so it's a difficult time for sure. So let's see what we have here. So the air signs too is all going to be about talking. Okay, we have the thinking man flying out. Somebody is seeing all sides of an issue. They're very analytical. They're trying to figure something out. Um, they're looking very carefully at all different aspects of a scenario. Crystal gazing is what he's doing. He's looking into something, hoping to get a message or to get some clarification, maybe even to see the future. Like what what is coming? What is going on here? Um, what is the story about? It's very, um, someone who sees all sides of an issue, but it can be someone very deep Okay, what else do we have here for Aries coming up? Community. So we have, that's definitely the energy of Aquarius. To me, this really looks like Aquarian energy. It's community, but when you think about community, you think about how do certain people act in a certain social situation. Um... So there could be supportive people around you. There could be a large group. 
um, church, friends, uh, neighbors, I don't know, anything where the community is affecting you. And there's a person here who's trying to understand the situation. Um, it could have something to do with dates or love options. And they really don't know what to do. It could be very confusing for them. Aquarian energy to me is not very... Um, it's not committed to one person. Okay, we have a knight of coin. Very slow moving, methodical, loyal. And we have the death card. Okay, so we have something here that is changing. Um, there's a change, a major transformation. It could be an ending in a situation. So, the death brings about the change, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Emperor in the most recent past. So, for Aries, that's you've been feeling like you're in control. Okay, now we have here a Queen of Wands. So, you could have been dealing with a person here who was somewhat controlling. They're wanting to be in control. Now the energy of Queen of Wands is very inspired, self-assured, inspired. Okay, a page of wands coming in. Immaturity. Um, it could be a message from a fire sign. Okay, what is Aries energy here? Queen of Water. You're being very sensitive, kind, compassionate. The moon in Pisces can be very compassionate. Your emotions are connected to your subconscious mind. There's a tent of water around you, which could be a long-term emotional connection to a friend, a loved one. Nine of cups is what you're wanting. Happiness, good times, and celebration. Okay, so what are we getting as the outcome? Six of coin, generosity, financial balance, payments, um, the energy of Taurus, rewarding someone or paying someone, giving them money. Now, the page of wands, a very youthful, young, inspired energy is coming into your future. Ten of Cups there. It could be somebody who would make you happy. Um, what is this Six of Coin? King of Air. Okay, so there's a person who is very serious. They could have been um, very cold. It's an air sign energy. But it could just be somebody who's very logical. They don't show a lot of emotion. And there's something about financial balance, donations coming in here, giving money to someone. What is the Ten of Cups in the environment? Okay, so there is a love connection, there's a partnership, or there's harmony. The Two and the Ten, that's really good. So what is the Page of Wands about here? What is the Messenger? Or is Aries inspired? Okay, we have the Hermit. Wise advice from someone. Um, someone who pulls away from people. Spend time alone. Introverted. Introspection. So what is the Queen of Water here for Aries? Okay, there's a Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, feeling left out. So someone could be coming towards you or you're going towards them to reach out. But with this five of pentacles, this is somebody, I think the Aries is feeling kind of out, abandoned in some way. What is the five of pentacles? Two of wands. You have a choice to make. Or you want to go in a new direction. 
What is the two of wands? The moon. There's a lot of uncertainty surrounding which direction to go. Nine of swords. There may have been a lot of stress surrounding a certain situation with a person. Um, Ten of cups and two of cups is really good. What is the two of cups? Four of coins. Somebody doesn't want to let go. Well, that's Venus and Libra. That's sort of that... I can't let go of you. I need to be together. What is King of Air? The Seven of Swords. Somebody is hiding information. It could be lying. It could be just hiding information. Um, the sneaky energy. The, you know, distrust. Somebody who you feel you can't trust them because... They're always up to something where they've got a plan. So if Aries, if you're feeling left out in the cold right now, there's changes going on. Okay, we have temperance, needing to be patient, find balance, stay grounded. The page of cups coming in. Okay. There is a Five of Swords, which is the narcissist, someone who holds on to pain. Ten of Pentacles, though. There's a lot of money or a, a long-term connection. Queen of Air. You see a situation clearly for what it is. Maybe you feel like someone's manipulating you um, could be like a roommate or a friend. Seven of Swords and then the Six of Pentacles. Four of Coins. Somebody doesn't want to let go. Emperor on the bottom. And the Ten of Cups. Indecision. Could be a marriage. Ace of Cups and King Knight of Coin. Could be an apology. It could be a new person. It looks like here somebody was lashing out at someone. Verbally attacking like accusing there might be a peace offering right here and Aries you're going to end up feeling strong again you know strong um as the emperor should um you're going to be feeling like you know this is my empire like you can't just come in and rock the boat um Okay, so we have someone who's sort of hiding information. What is the outcome here? Six of coin. Okay, we want to... It's high priestess, Pisces energy. Secrets. Five of swords again. It's the narcissist with the five of wands who brings in um, very combative energy. Okay. Oh, so we got the Ace of Water coming up. Something about new love, new opportunities, or an apology, maybe. What is the Knight of Coin? What is the Knight of Coin? Ooh, the Devil. Could be a Capricorn. Um... Could be a toxic relationship. Ooh, the tower. So if something happened in a relationship that's kind of toxic anyway, the death card here is coming in to put an end to it. Um, what is the death representing? The world. Okay, so you've learned your lesson. Um, you don't need to keep learning the same lesson over and over. Queen of Pentacles. There could be something about money or finance. If you're paying someone or helping someone, Two of Wands, you're at a crossroads. What is the Two of Wands? The Fool wanting to break free and to do your own thing and to be liberated. But it's like Aries Ambition and then Four of Pentacles. Somebody who's codependent on you. I hate to say that, but that's what it looks like. Somebody who won't let go. Could also be selfishness. 
You could have a person who's saving money, but there was a two of cups and a ten of cups. What is four of coin about? Four of coin. The page of wands and the knight of cups. See, it could be an apology. Knight of cups, page of wands. Immaturity, but sending you a message. Sun cards on the bottom. Hopefully everything works out. The justice. Five of pentacles. Somebody could feel abandoned. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it here for you, Aries. Let me pull one more of these energy oracle cards. The full moon was a hard one. It was a tough full moon. Okay, we got the happy family, the happy home. Things that work out well. This is about stability returning to a situation. Um, all right, Aries. Happy family, community, the thinking man. What else is here for Aries? Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Woman holding a heart and goddess of the moon. Someone's following their intuition. They're offering love, peace, and healing in a situation. Compassion. All right, Aries, this is your daily reading. Thank you for tuning in and take care.